What's up, Otakus? Uh, another edition of Comic Battle is here. Um, thank you as always for joining. And um, yeah, if you had a chance, click the like button, subscribe. Uh, we have a lot more comic battles coming up, and we're just, uh, it's a tournament style. So all the winners are going to eventually you know, go head to head. Um, and uh, you know, a winner will emerge. Um, so yeah, again, uh, just a reminder, you can download the, uh, the tournament bracket. Uh, these are just comics from my collection and I've seeded them and pitted them against each other. Um, in terms of how I, how they rank in my collection, but it's ultimately up to you, the, the viewer and the people that follow me on my social media channels. Um, to give your input uh, on your choice, your selection for the winner of the battles. And um, I tabulate all the uh, accounts and the winners are based on that count, the tabulation. So um, I just encourage you to play along. It's, it's fun. Um, we got another battle here, great battle here today. And let's just get into it. So we've got um, Countdown to Infinite Crisis, number one, and Spawn, number 25. Uh, we'll start with the Spawn here. This is a signed copy. Uh, it's signed by Mark Silvestri. And uh, Matt, that, uh, we did the inks on, on this wonderful cover here. Um, now, say what you will about Image Comics. Um, they really, uh, I think, brought a higher quality to just paper quality, um, the way comics look. And it really ushered in, um, I don't know what they're going to call it, uh, but eventually we're going to the modern age is going to um, become, I think they're already saying it's going to be the chromium age because there are so many chromium like foil covers. Um, but whatever they designate, the image really ushered in the chromium age or the 90s. Um, and you can see just the high quality um, and how, you know, how th these books were really just a, a sort of a fan favorite based on the art. Um, now, um, that ended up, so we got, you know, Spawn 25 here, Great Lightning in the background, great art by Mark Silvestri. And on the other hand, you've got this, which is there. So this is one of my favorite books in the collection, but this is also one of my favorite books. Um, and I just, the more I look, the more I look at, the more I have it in my collection, the more I just love it. Um, it's Jim Lee, but it's actually uh, inked and colored by Alex Ross. So Alex Ross, takes a Jim Lee pencil and kind of paints it in his style. And what you get is this just like amazing piece of Jim Lee work. Um, it really adds a completely different um, feel and, and tone and just a completely different look to Jim Lee's art. Very, I mean, yeah, it, it's Alex Ross-esque. And um, which, you know, if, you know, if Jim Lee could have this kind of style, it, it would really um, takes his comic art in, in a whole other direction, which is a good, I think in a good direction ultimately. Uh, but yeah, if you, you get a good sense of if Jim Lee 
in Alex Ross had worked on a lot of books together. Wow, what what an amazing run they would have had. But um, yeah, um, this collaboration between the two the legends, uh, the artist legends in comic book, um, really comes uh, is on full display here. So uh, this is not going to be an easy choice. In fact, I'm sure it'll be split. Um, comes down to you know your preference and then whatnot. I am going to go though with um, as much as I love this Sylvester Tree cover. I'm going to go with the Jim Lee Alex Ross collaboration. Again, um, this is a Jim Lee cover that is uh, just you know unique um, because of that. In you know, because of the shift in the, the change, the style change uh, in color and, and shading, and just softer, more realistic looking. So kudos to that collaboration. And uh, yeah, choice for this battle is Countdown to Infinite Crisis. Uh, so yeah, again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.